guys so this is the this one we're gonna be doing for sublimation vinyl it's from dollar tree so we're gonna pick our design that you any sign you guys want to do i'm gonna be doing this avocado one we're gonna be doing the size for a glass cup of 16 ounce it's four and 9.2 that's the size i use for my glass cups for 16 ounce so now we're going to duplicate this and then the second one is going to be base cuts because that's going to be the vinyl. That's where we're going to cut it and send it to our curve cut. So you just need your design that you're going to print on your um, printer sublimation and then you're going to get the other one. The other one is going to be the base cut for the curve cut to cut it. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to send it to your printer, send it to your curve cut and i use for um for my cutting i use printable um my own settings that i did so it's printable um settings i did share that on a video on tiktok so if you haven't watched it go and watch the settings that i share on for you guys but me being <laughs> really cheap i want to add a little bit of extra more because i don't want to print just one design on a paper so I'm going to be adding two. Okay, now that we got it, I'm going to fix the size. Fix them good. That way both of them fit in one paper. I don't know. I just like doing that. I don't like to waste my paper. So I do. I use the little ones for smaller cups that I have. So that way I don't waste half of the paper. when I can add something tiny to it. But yes, yeah, pretty much um, it that's it just um duplicate your other other um design and just turn it to a base cut and remember the base cut is where the curve cut's gonna cut it this the black lines don't worry about it because i'm just gonna cut over them so i'm not even gonna send that to the curve cut i'm just gonna cut it with my scissors and cut the black lines and then yeah that's pretty much it just fix it how you want to cut it and then we send it to our Kirka and the settings I said it was printable my printable settings I did my own settings so the video is on TikTok if you guys want to go watch it and see the settings that I use also before I forget something mirror your design don't mirror the base cut just the design you're gonna be mirror it when you print it and the base cut you don't have to mirror it at all so just the design that's the only thing you're gonna be mirroring and the base cut we're just gonna leave the mirror off i don't know why i did with more pressure don't put more pressure because i had to cut it twice because i put more pressure on it i, I don't know what i was thinking but yeah don't put more pressure if you want to do less pressure will be better that way it doesn't cut all the way through to the paper because that's what happened i put more pressure and i cut all the way through so i was really mad so no um no more pressure just do less pressure and this is the settings that i use for um sublimation they were good i like how they come out but let's get started with our i'm showing you how i press my design this is the dollar tree vinyl i'm going to be using make sure you get the permanent one because there's a removable one and there's a permanent one i'm gonna cut it to the size that i need it it says 7.20 2.7.2 so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add my lamination sheet patches remember the glossy side has to be on the top the matte side on the mat on the vinyl so we place the glossy side facing up and the matte side on um, on the vinyl if i'm making any sense so glossy sides facing up and then we're just gonna add tape on the corners that way when we press it it doesn't move all over the place Okay, so now we're going to put it on our heat press for 350 for 30 seconds. 
so we're gonna press it for three fifty. I'm um, at three fifty for thirty seconds. I am so sorry. And then we're gonna. You can use anything you want to use. I like to use this to take out the airs if it wasn't like flat enough. And I like to press it twice just to be on the safe side. So press it twice at three fifty for thirty seconds. And then just do this again. That way, if there's any air or anything. You can remove it. Okay, so now we're gonna put it on my credit card. Remember the settings on my printable settings that I share on TikTok and on less pressure. Don't do more pressures, do less pressure. That way the, it doesn't cut it all the way through because remember the Dollar Tree vinyl, it's really thin and also the paper. So less pressure, that way it doesn't cut all the way through. Once we tape everything, we're gonna put it on our heat presser as well at 350 for 30 seconds. And then we'll, I like to see if the design came out good. Now we take it back to our desk and start peeling it slowly. That way any nothing comes with the paper. And I love how the colors came out. Remember, just press it for at 350 for 30 seconds. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if I missed anything. I'll be reading your comments. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. That way you guys don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.